All across our region, from Wilmington to Philadelphia to South Jersey, there are thousands of unsolved mysteries. It takes just one memory or tip that could help close one of these cold cases and bring closure for both families and detectives who have vowed to never give up hope. Tonight, we kick off our new series, CBS 3 Mysteries, with Philadelphia's most notorious cold case, The Boy in the Box. This six year old boy was found in February of 1957 in the Fox Chase section of the city. Now, 64 years later, we may be the closest yet on learning who America's unknown child may be. It's an Eyewitness News exclusive, and Joe Holden has it. Ivy Hill Cemetery on the outskirts of Northwest Philadelphia is the final resting place for hundreds. Opposite the front gate, the first grave you see carries with it a deep mystery. This is the final resting place for the boy in the box. Trinkets and flowers are left for the late six-year-old victim. Cemetery workers meticulously care for the space that feels extra sacred. It'd be great to know who we're putting the flowers out for. He, for now, remains the boy without a name. That's the biggest uh, mystery right now. His identity coldly tied to the details. His battered remains were found in a box February 1957. Who is the child? What is, what is his name? Can we at least give him a name? Veteran homicide detective Sergeant Bob Kohlmeyer has kept the investigation alive. The elusive nature of the case haunts him. Kohlmeyer remembers growing up in Fox Chase and at 10 years old hearing about the boy who was found along Susquehanna Road in a box. The cause of death is listed as blunt force trauma. He appeared to be cleaned and freshly uh, groomed, you know, with a, with a haircut. Homicide Captain Jason Smith says there's something about the boy in the box case that must be solved. This is one of those cases. It's one of those cases. It's just. It's, it's going to continue to gnaw at you. Philadelphia homicide detectives two years ago got an order to exhume the remains of the boy in the box. They were able to send some fresh DNA over to a lab in Europe. That has seemingly given them their biggest break yet. When would you say was the last time you felt this close to breaking his name? This is the closest. You know, this is the, the closest we have gotten. Police now have a DNA profile. They hope leads them to family members of the little boy. Investigators say this gives them new direction. Might there still be witnesses around? There could be, absolutely. Might there still be a, a, a perpetrator that's still alive? Possibly. Could be. These detectives are on the doorstep of what can only be hoped to be the break for information that's kept them up at night, wondering what is the name of the boy in the box. It's always on my mind. We owe it to that child. We owe it to their family members. At Ivy Hill Cemetery, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.